In the realm of the towering rainforest canopies of Central and South America, a regal predator commands the skies, the Harpia Harpija, revered as the Harpy Eagle. Join us on a riveting exploration into the world of this magnificent raptor, as we uncover its evolutionary history, ecological significance, and the challenges it confronts. Deep within remote neotropical rainforests dwells one of Earth's most spectacular avian predators, the mighty Harpy Eagle. Representing the apex aerial hunter across its range spanning from Mexico to Brazil, the Harpy reigns supreme over the canopy realm of the Amazon. Possessing immense size and power matched only by its striking appearance, this raptor commands respect as an iconic symbol of unbridled tropical wilderness. With a wingspan exceeding seven feet and talons potent enough to instantly slay monkeys and sloths, the Harpy Eagle cuts an unforgettable image of ferocious hunting prowess. Yet paradoxically, these forest monarchs face looming existential threats as human encroachment and ecological collapse across the Amazon basin intensify. Already extirpated across the majority of its former distribution, Remaining isolated harpy populations now confront a gauntlet of challenges including habitat loss, prey depletion, persecution, and fatal exposure to human activities and developments. Without concerted conservation efforts, realistic scenarios envision the disappearance of the harpy eagle well within this century across most of its endemic Central and South American range. Evolutionary History the harpy eagle's origins extend back over five million years ago amidst the sweeping interchange of flora and fauna between North and South America following the emergence of the Isthmus of Panama Land Bridge. Prior exchange barriers had fostered speciation for terrestrial and low-flying bird species on either continent. But with the connection of the land masses, forest eagles like those preceding the harpies expanded across the newly continuous neotropical belt. Molecular dating suggests the modern harpy lineage diverged around 5 to 7 million years ago along with the ornate hawk eagle and crested eagle, most closely related genera comprising the Harpini subfamily. Just a single species descended from this ancestral radiation survived to modern times as the rest went extinct a testament to the harpy's exquisitely specialized ecological niche. Large-bodied with relatively low reproductive output, Harpies exhibited an exceptionally slow rate of evolutionary change. Fossil remains over five million years old reveal the harpy has effectively remained morphologically unchanged for most of the Pliocene and entire Pleistocene epochs through transitions from repeated glacial cycles and shifting environments. This incredible morphological stasis reflects an extraordinarily refined design and evolutionary apex already achieved that has required no fundamental adaptive adjustments across enormous time spans. By maintaining stable forest hunting environments in the Neotropics, harpies persisted while related species faltered. Morphological Description Standing up to 3.5 feet tall with a maximum weight of 20 pounds, the harpy eagle ranks among the largest raptors worldwide. Formidable proportions combining size, power and hunting prowess produce an unmatched aerial predator within its central and South American range. Dense concrete-like scaled legs culminating in opposable talons like clenched fists deliver immense crushing force and grasping capability capable of instantly killing prey as large as monkeys, sloths, or small deer. The rear talons measure upwards of 5 inches in length while the hook beak unleashes over 500 psi of biting force to sever spines and decapitate victims. Gray feathering provides dense waterproof insulation while black crests adorn the head and prominent dark breast patches contrast the pale underbelly. The overall broad structure with exceptionally wide powerful wings facilitates hunting maneuverability through the dense tangles of the rainforest canopy rather than sustained open soaring. Short yet broadly rounded tails aid in precision pivoting through maze-like vegetation in pursuit of agile prey like primates and possums. Meanwhile, adaptations like minimal webbing between toes optimized for closed branch rather than open field perching reflect extensive evolutionary refinement for its specialized arboreal habitat niche. Everything from sensory equipment like the acute frontal vision and scouting platform skull design tailored for apex omnipresence highlights the peerless hunting prowess of this true blood eye of the neotropical forests. Ecology Within the rainforest environment, 
The harpy eagle occupies a keystone ecological position as the apex avian predator of neotropical forest canopies. Through intensive hunting pressures, harpy predation sculpts the very structure and composition of entire prey populations across broad expanses of tropical wilderness. From sloths and monkeys to small deer and countless other arboreal mammals, these formidable hunters play an integral role sustaining healthy prey population dynamics while enforcing powerful top-down ecological forces on lower mammals and birds. Dense concentrations of harpy eagles may enhance prey diversity by preventing single dominant species from outcompeting others. Cascading effects from harpy predation thus ramify across rainforest food webs influencing the abundance, distribution and health of vegetation and other animal communities across vast regions. As the largest rainforest eagles, there remain virtually no predators capable of successfully preying on adults. Harpy chicks and eggs however face risks from smaller raptors like crested eagles and even predatory primates potentially impacting future reproductive success. Hunting ranges often exceed 30 square kilometers for breeding pairs while up to 400 square kilometers may be utilized for dispersal purposes. But due to their immense size and one of the lowest reproductive rates among birds, harpy eagles exhibit extremely low population densities of roughly two breeding pairs for every 370 square kilometers even in ideal habitat areas underscoring their vulnerability to human impacts and habitat loss. Populations vary substantially across different forest regions with documented densities of only around one breeding pair per 10,000 square kilometers in heavily hunted areas with per prey abundance. Habitat and Behavior From southern Mexico spanning throughout Central America into northern Argentina, the harpy eagle inhabits tropical lowland forests across a remarkably broad range within the latitudes of the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn. But core habitat centers upon large contiguous primary rainforest tracts like the Amazon Basin ideally harboring robust primate prey communities. Harpy ranges can extend into montane cloud forests up to 3,000 meters in elevation and gallery forests along major river systems. However, nesting often remains restricted to uninterrupted expanses of remote interior lowland forests to avoid human interference and depredation. Old-growth trees exceeding 200 years and upwards of 40 meters become necessary to support the massive nests weighing up to 600 pounds. The same nest sites may become repeatedly used over generations by successive breeding pairs if left undisturbed. Harpy eagles do not reach full sexual maturity until 6 to 7 years old. Courtship is an elaborate process including undulating flight displays and drawn-out nest attendance by potential mates. The monogamous breeding pair remains together for life and forcibly repels intruders near the territory. Only a single clutch of one to two eggs is produced annually with extended biennial or triennial breeding recesses common for nest inspection, mating and raising the singular offspring through its prolonged two-year dependency period. Both parents diligently provision the growing chick through excessive energetic investments female hunting effort alone may require ingestion upwards of 136 prey mammals like sloths and monkeys each year to satisfy the voracious demands. Juvenile harpies disperse from natal sites aged 2 to 4 years, their subsequent fate highly uncertain given the vast distances traveled up to several hundred miles to stake solitary claims in vacant territories. Conclusion in few other examples do we discover such a supremely superlative predator as the harpy eagle. From body size to weaponry like grasping talons and hooked beaks, every anatomical feature expresses an utter evolutionary commitment to a singular purpose, aerial predation on any prey within reach. For millions of years this majestic raptor persisted through ice ages and environmental upheavals to become the quintessential embodiment of rainforest hunting prowess. Even the prolonged commitment by breeding adults instills our years of dedicated effort focused solely on producing a single offspring primed for its own inheritance of the hunting realm. When a wild harpy eagle launches into flight, beating its massive wings powerfully against the dense humid air of the forest understory, even in this moment we glimpse a feat of boundless natural inspiration from an ancient lineage transcending five million years to the dawn of the Pliocene epoch. Yet now, after surviving eons of environmental adversity with seeming effortlessness, the harpy faces perhaps its greatest threat yet in our age of technology, habitat destruction and global change. As loggers, ranchers, 
developers and miners invade the still wild corners of Central and South American rainforests. These regal aerial monarchs grow increasingly cornered by the unsustainable sprawl of humanity's footprint. Shooting, collisions with infrastructure like power lines, exposure to toxins and loss of critical nest sites unleash swift inescapable turbulence ripping away at the fragile threads binding precarious local populations to survival. An unraveling which if left unchecked could extirpate the harpy eagle long before the end of the 21st century across the entirety of its endemic range. A future world lacking these magnificent raptors astride rainforest canopies would remain diminished and disenchanted impoverished in a subtle yet profound way. But therein rests the ultimate critique on humanity's custodial failure of planetary stewardship in the Anthropocene. For if we consciously undermine the ecological foundations sustaining the harpy eagle's very existence, what unrestrained arrogance or short-sightedness could then possibly justify our own continued flourishing? Will the next generation inherit a world worth inheriting if the rainforest breathes no more?